So long as we live in the world, we cannot be without trouble and trial. Wherefore it is written in Job, The life of man upon the earth is a trial. And therefore ought each of us to give heed concerning trials and temptations, and watch unto prayer, lest the devil find occasion to deceive. For he never sleepeth, but goeth about seeking whom he may devour. No man is so perfect in holiness that he hath never temptations, nor can he ever be wholly free from them. Yet, notwithstanding, temptations turn greatly unto our profit, even though they be great and hard to bear, for through them we are humbled, purified, instructed. All saints have passed through much tribulation and temptation, and have profited thereby. And they who endured not temptation became reprobate and fell away. There is no position so sacred, no place so secret, that it is without temptations and adversities. There is no man wholly free from temptations so long as he liveth, because we have the root of temptation within ourselves, in that we are born in concupiscence. One temptation or sorrow passeth, and another cometh, and always we shall have somewhat to suffer, for we have fallen from perfect happiness. Many who seek to fly from temptations fall yet more deeply into them. By flight alone we cannot overcome, but by endurance and true humility we are made stronger than all our enemies. He who only resisteth outwardly, and pulleth not up by the root, shall profit little. Nay, rather temptations will return to him the more quickly, and will be the more terrible. Little by little, through patience and long-suffering, thou shalt conquer by the help of God, rather than by violence and thine own strength of will. In the midst of temptation, often seek counsel, and deal not hardly with one who is tempted, but comfort and strengthen him, as thou wouldest have done unto thyself. The beginning of all temptations to evil is instability of temper and want of trust in God. For even as a ship without a helm is tossed about by the waves, so is a man who is careless and infirm of purpose, tempted, now on this side, now on that. As fire testeth iron, so doth temptation the upright man. Oftentimes we know not what strength we have, but temptation revealeth to us what we are. Nevertheless we must watch, especially in the beginnings of temptation, for then is the foe the more easily mastered, when he is not suffered to enter within the mind, but is met outside the door as soon as he hath knocked. Wherefore one saith, Check the beginnings, once thou mightst have cured, but now tis past thy skill, too long hath it endured. For first cometh to the mind the simple suggestion, then the strong imagination, afterwards pleasure, evil affection, assent, and so, little by little, the enemy entereth in altogether, because he was not resisted at the beginning, and the longer a man delayeth his resistance, the weaker he groweth, and the stronger groweth the enemy against him. Some men suffer their most grievous temptations in the beginning of their conversion, some at the end. Some are sorely tried their whole life long. Some there are who are tempted but lightly, according to the wisdom and justice of the ordering of God, who knoweth the character and circumstances of men, and ordereth all things for the welfare of his elect. Therefore we ought not to despair when we are tempted, but the more fervently should cry unto God that he will vouchsafe to help us in all our tribulation, 
and that he will, as St. Paul said, with the temptation make a way to escape, that we may be able to bear it. Let us therefore humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God in all temptation and trouble, for he will save and exalt such as are of an humble spirit. In temptations and troubles a man is proved what progress he hath made, and therein is his reward the greater, and his virtue doth the more appear. Nor is it a great thing if a man be devout and zealous, so long as he suffereth no affliction. But if he behave himself patiently in the time of adversity, then is there hope of great progress. Some are kept safe from great temptations, but are overtaken in those which are little and common, that the humiliation may teach them not to trust to themselves in great things, being weak in small things. <laughs>